Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So this is my second video that I am filming today. My son is still sleeping, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so I was tagged by my beautiful friend, uh, Mommy uh, Jerusha, tagged me uh, to do this really fun tag actually. It's the luxury attic tag. So let me just jump right in because I have so many things to talk about in this uh, to answer. Okay, the first question here it says, what was your first designer piece? Um, actually, I'm not quite sure which one it was. I have two, you know, um, that comes up to my mind was the one is Prada Pochette, but I don't know if that's a, you consider a bag, but the first the designer piece. So that may be it. So it was Prada Pochette, the nylon black old black one just a small size that looks like a um, cosmetic pouch but I don't have that anymore because um, yeah I moved around and I used to live in South Korea so that's a long time ago that was when I was like I turned 20 I think something like that now I'm 33 <laughs> so that's a long time ago and another piece that what I consider as a first uh, designer piece was bought at this small tiny consignment store in South Korea again uh, that was right after I made the first uh, you know money uh, my life uh, should be before 20 or anyhow I saved and saved every little penny at that time and I went to this consignment store I wanted to buy the monogram just to Louis Vuitton anything that they have with the money that I had so I got the I don't know it looks like camera bag you know like have the zip around on the top and it was really vintage you know and I remember it was about I don't know how much it was exactly but it was a lot at the time and so I was very very happy but I didn't get to really wear it because I was so afraid to ruin the bag I don't know so I didn't really get to wear it but at the end I gave it to my friend uh, who really liked after many years later so yeah that's uh, that's the first question I will answer uh, second one is what do you consider your best investment? Uh, I will narrow down to three different categories like what Jerusha did. Um, first, I would say ones that I got, I took some notes here. So ones that I got get most use out of, that's I consider best investment for myself. Um, the first thing that I would say is Chanel mini flap. I got this mini flap a um, few months ago or maybe more than that anyways I got this one it's the classic uh, mini flap this is a rectangular one um, the black caviar leather with the gold hardware I wanted silver hardware but they didn't have and I got to get the gold one and this bag has been the bag that I wear the most out of everything that I have actually and um, out of my Chanel collection especially because I know Jumbo is the one that I had longer but I don't really get to wear that it's pretty heavy and pretty big and anyhow I I just take this anywhere I went and I just really love it it's small but it fits a lot and it fits everything what I need a day and uh, I have a little baby so when I uh, go out. I normally have my little uh, big long uh, you know, nylon uh, bag in my car with all my baby stuff. So I always have that and now my son is almost three years old so he doesn't need so many things for me to carry for him. So anyhow, this is really quick and crossbody, very, very, very easy. Uh, so that's my investment piece that I will consider since I use all the time. And another piece that I want to mention that I use a lot is Chanel flats and aspidrules. Um, yeah, I brought this aspidrules 
This is black lambskin. As you guys can see how much I use. I mean wear them. It's kind of getting break broken in but these are so so comfortable and very very easy and you can just put them on and just run out the door. I mean it's just no brainer. I mean I can wear this um, with the dress. I can wear this with the pants. I can wear this with the jeans or anything. It goes with everything. <laughs> So dirty sorry guys but i think of this as investment piece because i wear them so much i get so much use out of them that's that and another jewelry piece i would say or um yeah jewelry it's my rolex watch right here um rolex watch and also the cartier that i have this uh tank these two i would say investment piece this is like um you know anyhow they are like statement piece for me and this is more casual i consider and this is more dressy but this can be casual as well and yeah i love them so much and i can never think of get rid of them or not having them i wear them all the time and i just switch them you know this and that before i had michael kors watches so many and i sold them all and after i got both of them and because it looked kind of similar and size wise also similar sorry guys i'm talking so much i think i need to go fast um okay so the second character i'm like oh second question okay second category that i narrowed down is um if we'll get money back close to or more that's what I consider investment piece also for the handbag I would say Chanel Jumbo this bag just um, over the years the price has been going up and up and up it didn't really seem to stop and I heard another price increase will happen in May or in November this year 20% it goes up every year so i will consider this as the investment piece um yeah the price keeps going up and especially getting the caviar leather one especially the black gold or silver it doesn't matter uh they're very very classy so like if you know you can kind of easily sell um if you don't want it later on and you won't lose so much money or you may get more money than you paid for you know at the time because the price keeps going up if the condition is great no problem selling that so that's what i would think uh jumbo and surprisingly also i would say the classic mini the price keeps going up and i remember 2003 or 4 it was 2400 now it's 3100 the price every year it keeps going up and people still want them uh, that's the ones that i consider uh investment piece as the second category um and the third category <laughs> i'm like okay third is uh, i wrote down classics that you can always sell that everyone wants to get similar to the second category that i said it's like chanel jumbo mini medium to large classic flap and louis vuitton never full will be always the ones people wanted and speedy 25 or 30 uh, now with the bandolier people a lot of people want them it's like you know because i've been selling my bag buying a lot <laughs> selling my bags for over years and i do get a lot of uh emails still asking do you have neverfull do you have classic flap do you have speedy um you know i can buy so people it seems like everybody has that bag but everybody wants that i don't know if that makes sense anyhow let's go with the third question what is your criteria criteria uh when looking to buy a piece uh, at first, I must really, really love. It should be something that it grabs my attention, right? First, and I will have. Then, second, I think of if I will use that bag uh, or not because my lifestyle keeps changing. You know, before I got married, 
after I got married, after having a baby, after having two kids, who knows what's gonna change, but it's, it keeps changing, my lifestyle keeps changing, so that's the first thing that I think of what I really use them. Yeah, so like for example, I used to hate uh, having a bag that I have to wear crossbody. I don't know, for some reason I really didn't like the look of it on me, crossbody, but now I love, love, love everything with the shoulder strap and wearing crossbody because I need to have my hands free and I want something easy, breezy, and lightweight. That's what I love right now. So things change. Okay, so next question is, what has been your stupidest, stupidest, most re regrettable purchase? This I had to think for a long time because I think really, really like crazy a lot uh, when I come to buy something. Um, so one bag that I could think of was Alma. Um, if you guys don't know what Alma looks like, it's Louis Vuitton uh, Alma. This is the one with the red color. It's the cockleaked color. Love it. So the story is, I don't know if you guys have been following me for years, you will know that I used to own green Alma. Uh, I don't know the exact name for the green one, but I think it starts with M. Anyhow, uh, you guys have seen that bag, I believe. If I bought that bag when my husband and I went to Las Vegas for the first time. Uh, he wanted me to buy something like luxury and we went to Louis Vuitton, we went to Prada, we went to Chanel, we went to many places and I, I've been wanting to have Alma but I didn't know what color to go for so it was just so stupid that I went with the color green because the essay was kept saying the green this season is perfect and it's always great to have da 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 and so forth so I was like Oh, okay, I will maybe go with the green But you know what green is never been my favorite color. I never Even buy anything green, you know, so that was the stupidest and also I bought the shoulder strap that You know that cost about 300 I think or more than that. I don't remember exactly but I bought that as a set together but after wearing the shoulder strap with the Alma that's the size PM, which is pretty heavy. I mean, heavier than the size smaller one. It just didn't work out for me because the shoulder strap was kind of thin. And when I wear it with the stuff inside of my Alma, it became very heavy. So it would really dig into my shoulder. So paying that much with the shoulder strap and the, the Alma, I mean, going through all that, it was just... I don't know why I bought that bag, but I love the bag. So anyway, I sold that bag with a really, really low price. Um, and the strap, I just gave it away when I sold that bag. And and then I got this color, which I absolutely love. You guys know that I love red. I don't know why I did that. Anyways, that's, that's what I think of stupid purchase that I got. And kind of impulse buy because we were in Las Vegas and you know we wanted to buy something and I wanted to get something from there and yeah so next um, if you have sold any of luxury goods have you ever had sellers regret I would say yes and no because I research so much like a student you know who is gonna have a test tomorrow I research so much to buy you know uh, um to you know buy a bag which means when i'm selling it i have to think so so much about if i really want to sell it so to sell the bag but i've been selling so many bags anyhow so you guys may say oh really you know but for me to think of just you know doing all that um uh so I don't know, seller's regret, um, I would say mini flap that I sold, uh, the black patent leather with the silver hardware which I absolutely loved and adore and I still love and adore that bag but 
I sold it at that time because I wasn't really enjoying it and wearing it and I would just wear it once in a while and put it you know to the closet so it wasn't really being used so I won't say I regret but I you know sometimes miss it when I see it uh, um, but yeah I'm I'm glad that I sold it, but I do think about it some, sometimes and I do love Chanel mini flat now even more so yeah, but now I kind of lost love of patent leather the shiny uh, leather, I don't know for some reason I like matte finish and just a shiny finished lambskin that's more what I like now so yeah, I wouldn't say I regret but I miss it. I don't know if that makes sense also. Okay, so next question. What is a piece that you think everyone needs should have? Um, I, I think everyone needs to, you know, own, I would say small leather goods, uh, SLG. A couple of things that I brought here. If the full size wallet, if you guys like to have need to have full size wallet I will you know go with the one I mean I bought so many full size wallet and I went through many different types of wallets already and I now have this is the only one that I have in this full size wallet because I know I figure out that I don't like zip around ones I don't like compact like zip ones anyways I like something easy like just snap open and it's just everything is easy I like and this one I love red as you guys know then it has the red uh, lining which I absolutely love and it's just easy for me to just you know pay off and things like that so anyhow I once I figure out which type of which style I like I stick with the uh, Sarah wallet. So this is a full-size wallet that I really love. Even if I sell this one in the uh, future, I will always, you know, grab toward to the style of this wallet. So anyhow, uh, saying SLG uh, full-size wallet, if you guys like full-size or a small-size wallet like this, I got this not too long ago, but it's the brand new style that they have at Louis Vuitton. And this one has so many compartments. I mean, things like this, like small leather goods. That's what I wanted to say about our Chanel small leather goods. They are well made and they just, uh, it just does something about it when you pull the wallet out of your handbag. And, anyways, yeah, small SL, I mean, yeah, SLG. Sorry, guys, I'm like, uh, over everywhere. Next question is, what is a piece that you think is overhyped? I don't really know this because I don't want to offend anyone, <laughs> uh, first of all. And also, I cannot really think of something that's overhyped because fashion is just, you know, I mean, it changes, right? Uh, classic always stays, so that's why I tend to go for the classic, um, especially buying luxury goods. So I don't want to offend anyone and I did get this piece and I returned um, before which I think overhyped is Fendi uh, the fur charms like ABC charms or monster charms I mean I'm really into them and I love them every time I see them I'm like I want to have them and when I think of the price and when I think of the use uh, I'm like do I really have to have it I may get it who knows <laughs> once uh, one day I may just get it or I may get a, a gift from someone I don't know but I, that's what I could think of um, for this answer I mean this question other things I don't know overhyped yeah so let's move on to the last question here what is next on your wish list uh i really am into cartier uh love line i don't know if you guys can tell that i got this love ring 
um, my husband bought this for me uh, for the Valentine's Day and I bought him his so we both have now the matching one exact same color and this is the yellow one yellow gold one and it's the thicker one um, yeah so I've been into it so I can wait to have the love bracelet or love necklace uh, but it should be someday that you know kind of special day uh, gift so that's on my wish list and uh, handbag wise I um yeah uh, I get this question a lot of times from you guys about if I want to get the Hermes Kelly or Birkin um, I did get this question a lot and I don't think I ever really answered because I wasn't really clearly sure about getting or not getting it uh, but I am on the waiting list uh, at my Hermes boutique where I go which is five hours away so I don't really get to go there that often but yeah I'm on the waiting list for it and if they offer me I will go and look at it and we'll see if the color matches um, what I'm looking for so that may be on my wish list but it may take one or two years who knows so yeah we'll be still in the you know wish list so that's that and also if you guys watch my previous video that I just uploaded I believe uh, uh, you will see what I got so that has been on my wish list for a while even though I didn't say anything in my video or here and there so that's that and um, I want to tag like literally everyone because this tag is really helpful for someone like us who like luxury goods and always lusting over them so I want to tag everyone who is watching this video and um, specifically I may tag Amy from Fashionably Amy and also um, who else I would think of Robin uh, from Stuckland Style to Robin and I want to tag Angel Ooh, I forgot her channel name but I think you know uh, who I'm talking about and I I didn't write down sorry guys but uh, I will try to list down in the description box so you guys can check and see if you guys were tagged so I want to take everyone seriously if you guys have made this video let me know because I'd like to know what you think of all that questions that has been answered from me uh, here and yeah anyhow I'm just rambling now so I'll let you guys go and I will be back with another video have a wonderful day bye guys